Hello boys and girls and whatever in between, welcome back to this channel, Big Boy Sports. And, what are we doing today? What are we doing that's gonna be like, oh, well, man, man, let me tell you, this is gonna be some interesting content. Well, today it is Friday and we are going to preview the Big 12 SEC Challenge. Saturday's big slate of games that's going to be on all day long throughout the ESPN family of networks. I'm so glad that we got, we still have the Big 12 SEC Challenge show every single year. Um, obviously, you know, um, you know, there's 14 teams in the SEC. Four of them have to get left out each and every year because you know, the Big 12 only has 10 teams. Um, and this is a nice breather from conference play because, um, yeah, I, I'm not really that excited uh, as far as the Longhorns game goes, which is against LSU. And the last time I heard anything about LSU was them beating Liberty, who was then undefeated. And Liberty has also taken a couple more L's since then. But, um, but yeah, this week in college basketball was just another week of I don't know what's going on. What? Or who's? Who's? You know? Who's the team gonna? Who's the team to beat? Um, Indiana, for example, beat Michigan State last night or the night before that. Um, yeah, it was last night, I think. But yeah, um, tough shot at the end of the game. You know, um, and Indiana just had more um, in the tank to close it out. You know, and you know Michigan State had a chance edit at the very end and it just did not work out hopefully all of that last shot thus Indiana got the ball back with .2 seconds um, two tenths of a second left and won the game there it was um, as far as like some other games go like um, there wasn't a lot actually that really caught my eye um, we already talked about Michigan State Indiana um, and just disgusting performance by the Longhorns on Monday. So, of course, I was not excited. Just absolutely steamrolled by West Virginia Bob Huggins. Oh, uh, and of course, we can't forget the Kansas State-Kansas brawl that happened. Um, and just, yeah, there were a lot of suspensions for that. Um, not going to go over those too much in detail. Um, but those are the three big things that I took away from this week. Um, I believe some other stuff happened as well, but, you know, it's it's hardly worth mentioning at this point. You know, well, that was Tuesday that that happened, the brawl with Kansas and Kansas State. But let's look at these games, and let's take a look at some other ones as well. Um, War Saturday. Um, first off in the Big 12 SEC Challenge, we got... Virginia and West Virginia and Missouri, so that's going to be pretty interesting there. Um, keep your eye out for Villanova taking on Providence at that same time. Villanova is a sneaky good team. They are they're a team that's going to be like you know, bam, you know, we're in the tournament hunt. We're we're going places, and I think you know Villanova could be challenging you know Butler, and the, you know the Big East race is pretty tight stuff like that so you know it's got to be a, there's a lot in there that has to go um, and of course the one o'clock games um, LSU Texas and Mississippi State Oklahoma uh, down in Oklahoma City <laughs> and I'm not sure why but uh, man let's see North Carolina who's in last place in the ACC right now they're taking on Miami of Florida at the same time that Missouri West Virginia will be on, even though there should be another Big Twelve game there. But we're not gonna we're not gonna harp on that right now. Um, don't really care about Oklahoma and Mississippi State is like a non-factor, so I would I would say don't pay attention to this game. Uh, but do pay attention to LSU Texas. I think LSU is a sneaky tournament team, and of course you know the Longhorns are gonna be the Longhorns. They're gonna disappoint me no matter what they do. Um, then at 3 p.m., and it's that's 4 o'clock for you Eastern time zone people, we got Tennessee taking on Kansas. Tennessee 
There's at times that I've seen them have looked pretty good, but at other times, like against Wisconsin, looked pretty bad. Um, they're taking on Kansas. Kansas, you know, they're losing players and stuff like that, and, and it's all going to be crazy. TCU's taking on Arkansas, Oklahoma State, taking on Texas A&M. The Texas A&M game, <laughs> it's going to be on ESPNU. That's hilarious. TCU Arkansas is on ESPN2. Arkansas is also a team that I haven't heard much about. They, I think they still only have like one or two losses or something like that. They just have not, they have not strutted themselves out on the radar because they don't really have anything um, to measure up. And then we get to the nightcap here on Saturday night before, you know, um, something else that we'll talk about in the very next video. Um, can Kentucky taking on Texas Tech. Kansas State taking on Alabama. Um, Kentucky-Texas Tech is going to be one hell of a game, I guarantee you. Um, it's going to be very interesting to see, you know, what in the world is going to happen there. Um, will I be watching this game? I do not think so. Because at that time, or rather, rather it'll be at 5, I will be at the UTEP UNT game, and UNT is looking very good right now, Conference USA, and uh, I gotta say, I am so excited to see my team just be like banging. Man, what is going on? So I'll be at the UNT game, and then when I come back home, um, we'll be talking about something else that'll happen at like 7.45 that night. Then, uh, Baylor, Florida is just the lone game to close <laughs> out, um, and that's gonna be also a good game. Florida has been really, really good um, at times, and F Baylor is the number one team in the nation. And, you know, it's just, man, you know, all that stuff is good. That is good basketball. Yeah. Um, that is going to be some good basketball right there. Baylor, Florida, you know, uh, that is going to be, mm. uh, but yeah, uh, Baylor's really good defense. Florida also has a suffocating defense when they want to, um, so I take it, you know, we're pro probably going to watch that game. Um, it'll probably be in progress when I get back, um, and I'll have the split screen up for that game. Other games to watch out for uh, on Sunday, it's Royal Rumble Sunday, which means, you know, it's going to be a crazy, hectic thing on the second Maryland-Indiana matchup, which will be airing on CBS. That's going to be um, interesting. Interesting to see the see what Indiana can do um, after getting a big-time win um, on Thursday against Michigan State. Michigan State, on the flip side, is taking on Minnesota at Three o'clock Eastern Time, two o'clock on the in the Central Time Zone. So it'll be on during the Pro Bowl, which I've already said I'm going to watch this year. Um, so it'll be on during that time, and that's going to be on Fox, of course. Um, so how will Michigan State? How will how will Cassius Winston and company bounce back um, at the you know playing? You know, not the greatest, but you know it, it, they play all right. And then to cap off, you know the day before you know we get to the royal rumble on sunday um the mega thread that i'll have on twitter which is which i don't believe i have linked to my channel anymore uh, but it's going to be ucla taking on oregon and oregon is a damn good team you better believe they have come from behind a lot of things and, and stuff like that they have done a lot of things that have really set themselves apart from some of these other teams I mean, sure, they've lost a couple of games here and there, but Oregon's really, really good. Um, I think they're one of the better teams in the country. Um, we're not even going to talk about Zach, so I don't even know who they're playing, to be completely honest with you. So don't even ask me about Gonzaga, because they're them and Baylor right now. San Diego State, I believe, is still undefeated, so I don't, I don't, don't, don't quote me on that. So they could lose like tonight or something. I don't, I don't think. Well, it's Friday night, so. I don't think anybody's playing tonight, so nobody important anyway. But you know, so that being said, um, everybody enjoy the Big Twelve SEC Challenge on Saturday. I don't really have a lot of insight of the Big Twelve SEC Challenge. Bizarre, um, more interesting stuff happened during the week, um, um, like you know, um, 
the whole Kansas State Kansas brawl that was just so damn, it was so funny, man. Let me tell you. Um, and then you know, of course, Thursday night was just oof for Michigan State fans. And then Monday night, we all we all wanted the fire shock of smart right then and there. Um, so yeah, uh, that's gonna do it for today um, for our college basketball preview for Saturday. Uh, and Sunday, of course, um, you know, so this is it, this is the, well, not this is it, but, um, you know, um, this is going to be, you know, one of these last Sundays here, and the last Saturdays and Sundays that we can fully say, hey, the NFL is not on our tail, and we can fully focus on college basketball, so, you know, it's going to be fun, and with that being said, y'all take care, we'll see you guys in the next video.